Hello everyone and welcome back to our survival series. Now up till now we've been working in a single player context, meaning we've added no multiplayer components to this tool at all. So in this episode we're going to make our nodes and our tools replicate so we can diminish and get materials in a multiplayer setting. So let's jump in. So to now start adding multiplayer components to our crafting and survival systems here. Um, we've changed it over to be two player and net mode back to players listen server. So here's the issues we're dealing with so far. So we've got the two player set up here. Uh, let me just resize this so you can see both a bit clearer at the same time. Okay. So this is the server view that we're currently moving at the moment. And if I were to click on my rock here, I can make it smaller here, but you can see it's not going small on the other side of the screen, okay? And the reason why is because this object at the moment is not set to replicate. And we have the same problem as well, as you would imagine, if the client was the one doing this too. So first of all, let's create our resources to be replicated. So when we open up our parent resource, which was this white one here, edit node, and inside the asset when it comes up we are going to go to the class defaults to go to replication and we're going to do replicates that means now it is replicating across to multiple actors now the problem we have at the moment is that when we interact with this thing uh, we got any damage being done the damage is done only by the server side. So the server is going to get all the tool type and the damage type and so forth, apply it all like here and affect their health of the stack component. And then the stack component is going to rescale the mesh and so forth. So the problem we're going to find here is regarding the damage here. And to show you that, if I just go back into our game, uh, back on the server view here, I'm going to hit this. Still no issue, no no uh, similar things. So we need to tell our things here to replicate further and do further breakup. So the damage thing is not happening. Now the reason why the damage thing is not happening is that we are, well it is happening, it's just not happening as the way we want it to. So if I print the string of hello, for example, and push play, you can see the server is still able to say hello to it. And if I go to the client side screen and hit that, you'll see it's not doing it. And that's because, as I said, damage is done server side only. So we need to replicate the damage done, first of all, from the, um, the tool over to everyone. So let's go open up our tool, first of all. And we go to tool. Okay, you got deal damage, uh, use item. Okay, so when we click the button to use an item, we're playing the montage, which we saw was working just fine. But the deal damage wasn't. Okay, so the deal damage was happening on our own side at all, because this needs to be done by the server. So on deal damage here, we need to promote that, not promote, sorry, replicate this to run on server. Okay, now when it does run from server, you've got a couple of issues. First of all, the get player camera manager is not going to work because this is relative to only the current client's camera. So what we need to do is pass through this information from our traces into deal damage here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sphere trace off from here and apply it to uh, uh, the break hit result from it into the deal damage. So let's take the hit result from break hit result chuck it into there and I'm going to take the sphere trace along with the branch we'll take this oh what happened there there you go um, we take the sphere trace along with all this stuff and do this calculation on the client side, which is this bit over here. So we'll click the use item. So play montage, deal damage. Now deal damage is gonna go after this and it's gonna go into the true part of that branch. 
the hit result is going to come from our trace and then this is going to come from notify begin so we're now doing it locally here and deal damage is going to do the job over there okay so that's that part done now the issue we're going to find with this is that the deal damage here uh, is executing on the server replicating to the server now this can only work if we own the tool so let's check to see if that that's already done for us so from the client side here we've got no damage being done and if i go to this one over here working just fine because it is the server already so the tool uh, well anything really that's replicating to the server has to be owned by the player controller who's owning it okay so only the if you hover over it, it says replicate this event from the net owning client to the server so when we spawn the tool on the actor we want to tell him to belong to the controller of the actor so in order for this to execute on the server we have to tell the ownership of this actor to belong to the parent actor who own, who's holding it so on begin play we are going to do a switch has authority and on the authority of it we're going to do set owner and the new owner is going to be the parent actor and that is the getting because it's a child actor uh, child actor this will get the parent actor who's holding that component so we'll plug that into there like so and you want to make sure in the class defaults that you've turned on replicates and hit compile and save that. Now, if I go to deal damage, actually, and put a print string in here so you can see this working. We can say hello. We'll change it to be red. Like so. If I go up to the thing now and hit it, you can see it's now reporting back hello. And saying it's doing damage and you can see the damage on the server side is actually taking place you can see the stone getting smaller and reacting to that happening now the stone is getting smaller on the server side but not the client side so that is because when we go back to the node stone or just nodes in general and we'll go to when they take damage uh, so on damage here we've got rescale mess so this on this damage thing we need to tell this to rescale um replicated so what we're going to do with the rescale is we're going to convert it to a event go convert to event there it is and we're going to tell this this to be a multicast okay now a multicast can only be called from the server so you can't do it from anywhere else so on the rescale mesh when this happens we need to do a, a uh, another replicated event to do a server call to damage node and we'll do replicates on server and that's going to call the rescale mesh so we'll just drag that in to there and then back on here we're going to call the server call the damage node Okay, now what else do we need to do on here? Well, the damage we want to replicate across as well. So on here, we need to pass this across over to our server call here. And we're going to take this, this, and should we take all of this? Uh, yeah, we'll take all of this. In fact, that'd be easier if I just did this. Move that to the side. Damage node. And bring that to there. Um, we do need to pass through the damage number. So we pass that through. It's a pin. And we'll put it on damage. And connect it up here on the damaged event. So when it's on damaged, the server call is going to damage the node. Rescale it and change the commit damage on the server side um yep that'll go across there and that'll go across there and then 
we've got this adding to inventory. We need to know who we're adding inventory to. So we need to know who's damaging it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get who uh, did the damage, which you get from here on any damage. Let's get rid of this picture now. Um, you're going to get instigated by. This is the controller who's doing this. So we want to just promote that to a variable. Like that. And I'm just going to go across to my get player character, remove that, drag him instigated by. And this will get me the controller. I want to get the controlled pawn from this. And that is going to go into my get component by class and go through that. Okay, so that shouldn't cause us any issues, but we should see, oh, the tree node's broken. Hang on, let's have a look what we've broken in node for the tree. Um, ah, yeah, it's because this doesn't exist anymore. Delete, there we go. Right, so, so let's see the node change size now on both screens. Why not? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So it'll be because we're actually going to on server. Any damage is coming through the server. Uh, I may not be plugging in instigated by. Let's have a look. Okay, and then on the apply damage here, we need to get the instigated controller of the owner of the tool. So from the target to get owner, and that will now return the damage and send over the correct instigator. So that's all that working. The next bit is we need to tell the stack component of our node here, the thing that's actually taking the damage, to replicate as well as replicate its values as well. So we're going to go into the stack component, go to class defaults, and head to component replicates. And we're going to go to the health value, and we're going to set that to be replicated as well. So now it's replicated across both. Now let's take a look and see what happens now. So let's go to my client view and watch both screens. Uh, I think I'm hitting the gun. Let's delete that gun. That's going to get in the way. Okay, so now I'm doing damage, and you saw it printing out 300 for the size of our mesh, okay? And you see it getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And disappears. Okay? So now we've got that set up there, and it's all gone. It's all good. Excellent. Okay, and when I go to inventory... There's our four stone in here. And you can see it's not replicated over to our server view. They've got nothing in theirs. Now let's just out for the tree. Um, let's go back into here. And oh, okay, so it's rescaling. Uh, that's because we changed the rescale method. Let's go into the node there and fix that. So I'm gonna go to node the tree and I'm gonna override the rescale. So I'm gonna add the rescale event. Well, I'll just go to override here. Rescale mesh and leave that blank. So that will stop that from doing that now. So if I go into here now, yeah, it's 400, 300, 200, 100, and it falls. Okay, but you notice it doesn't do it on this one, okay, the client side. And that's again because we need to tell the tree to replicate that falling damage. So let's go to the tree. And we've got up here on depleted health from the stack component. This needs to basically do all this for everyone. So we're going to do a custom event. I'm going to do multicast, all tree, replicated multicast. Bring that into there. And on depleted health, we're just going to call the full tree. 
Okay, so on every one, it will simulate and then go through all this stuff here. So let's go back to our game. And I'll just turn my cat around so you can see it in action. And go to the server client, a uh, server uh, player. Okay, and away it goes. Okay, and if I go to my inventory, there's my logs. And this character doesn't have it. And there you go. We've now replicated the nodes. So there you go. We've now got our game working in multiplayer as a continuation of our inventory series. We are now going to go into the next episode where we're going to start looking at how we do crafting with the materials we gather from these said nodes. You can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all my videos early before anyone else from just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all my supporters over on Patreon, as well as all my YouTube members too. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.